hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to talk about grading system of mtech in bits pilani and this is very specific to data science right now because uh, i understand data science so i think it should be similar for the other courses as well but uh, you can also validate on your uh, your own on their admission cell so let's move forward and see what we are going to discuss so in this video we are going to talk about the grading systems what all will be including in the grading when they are calculating your grades also some minimum passing marks and uh, i'll also talk about some best strategies to secure the marks and suggestions for the project grades and finally i will also give my take on that so stay tuned uh, stay with the till the last this video it's will it's going to be a short video so please stay till the last let's move forward so the first thing is grading system grading system is here is like very uh, typical one which you have might have seen in the other other courses as well but uh, still i will explain you so there are three three major points one is the letter is like letter grade which is like always given by a a minus b b minus c c minus d up to d you are okay like there is no big problem but e is like exposed and it's called it's considered mostly the failure so if you look on the point so a is 10 and then uh, a minus 9 so mostly if you are securing over and above 6 like c then you are okay no there is there will be no issues but the the CGP right CGPs are calculated based on the number of the units of a subject carries so you need to when you when you look for subjects always look for the subjects and their relative uh, units how much units they are carrying for example if you have a subject with has five units your grade will be impacted based on that and if you have a subject which has four units then it will be impacted based on that so based on your units and the grades in that particular subject your CGPA will be calculated the, as per this given formula so I, I think it's a standard throughout you you will see similar in the other subjects uh, in the other uh, programs as well maybe in the other colleges as well so uh, let's understand what all are included when they are calculating the grades and uh, uh, we'll talk about this so there are four things they are, they are going to include one is quiz assignments your final exam and mid semester they are giving the different weightage quiz and assignments combined given 30 percent weightage then 30 percent goes to your mid semester and 40 percent goes to a final exam so uh, uh, this is like kind of a free free uh, let's say free marks and your mid semesters are easy peasy marks and then final are like comprehensive and it's sometimes it's tough to qualify those so i mean take your call but never ever miss a quiz or assignment now the question is how much you should have minimum uh, minimum marks if you want to qualify the subject and uh, what are the criteria so the first thing is you should not have any no rra in your last semester it's called I think it's called repeat and rr means repeat and then no e in any subject in your last semester so else you have to repeat a semester and it's a big problem here because you also have financial implications for that you pay for even for one subject you pay for you pay complete fees because it's a new enrollment so i mean at at uh, at any cost you are you should not get e and also the overall CGP needs to be greater than 5.5 they will not even accept 5.49 so please pay attention to this you must and must at any cost fulfill these conditions else you are going to have some financial and time implications as well because uh, the degree will be extended okay so please do that now how do you secure those best practices to secure those marks so first thing is always have a plan so always make a plan and the plan could be like different for different people but for me it was like i will never miss any quiz the problem with the quizzes are here they are only open for 24 hours so you need to have a reminder and event planner in your calendar so that you don't miss any quiz so doesn't matter how busy you are don't miss any quiz then second is attempt and submit the assignments in advance so the why i'm saying that because uh, assignments are easy uh, when you do it in advance and so they are good for your learning because this this will also help you to prepare for your examinations and uh, uh, like you have a significant amount of time to complete that so start early don't you start at the last day and you start looking around and you know figure out okay i just need to submit something so i did that but you don't do that that's my mistake and i i say please don't repeat that and learn from my mistakes start in advance and submit in advance then coming to the exams so most of the exams are prepared by the faculties which will be teaching you in the classroom and they they do by from these ppts so read those ppts properly is if you are you, if you are lacking in the time ppts you must complete and their uh, the tutorials so there there will be some tutorials organized like seminars they call seminars and tutorial at some some point of the time you must must or uh, attend at least those because the numericals and the concepts things they will cover there those are mostly and 
or directly related to the exams you are going to get into a final or the mid semester exams mid semester and final exams are like written exams you write in your old time so it's not like oh you know the kind of uh, objective is subjective so uh, reading ppts and tutorials really really helps here now coming to the uh, project grade so what happens first second and third so i have already explained this complete process in my another video please go and watch that video you will get this in the um, uh, in the card as well so you can look on and uh, watch that video but nevertheless the project time it's final semester fourth semester and you must choose a good project why i say so because the first thing is because it's a gateway and a pass to your next job interview and it will help you to uh, do a right job search if you take a right topic you will really enjoy and you will enjoy what you have learned in the in past three uh, three semesters but if you take a wrong pro wrong project and you just do for like for the namesake you will not enjoy the uh, doing the project and your final you know the fourth semester so i will highly encourage you to take a good topic and it doesn't matter if it's a complex topic it's okay to have a complex topic because if it's complex you will learn more you will search more on internet and you will read more about data science and the, about that particular project so uh, don't don't get scared of any tough or complex pro topic as well take anything which in uh, interest you and complete that at any cost take help from people talk to people on linkedin get some help from outside and finish that project because that's something uh, i would say it's a gateway to job market the, on the good side the project is not going to impact your overall grading whatever you got up to the third semester you are going to keep those cgpa so it's not going to impact your cgpa the projects are always graded like excellent good average or poor so on on basis of that you will get a rating in your semester in your in in your project and that's i, I think that's good uh, that's a good way uh, as well because uh, if you start including project grading into the actual grading cgps then you will not be doing the justice to the people who has less less experience in data science compared to who has more experience in data science because they can do a better project and their cgps will go up so so i think this is a, this is a good strategy from bits to maintain okay who learned the theory well and then they calculate the cgpas based on the theory not on the hands on experience so uh, but nevertheless don't take it lightly my takes my final my my final words on it so see uh, this mtech process is tough okay it's very tough it's complex also and it's going to be exhausting uh, i would say very exhausting so but what why should you do it still see the if you have started finish it you will really enjoy once you finish it everybody has thoughts in between whether it's worthy uh, you are wasting your time you are wasting your money you draw should drop it's, it has no values everybody will get those thoughts you are not the, if you are getting those thoughts you are not alone here okay everybody gets it but if you complete it you will have ample you know energy or enthusiast you will be very enthusiastic to talk to talk about it to the people because you have done something which was difficult for you challenged yourself so don't give up do it and focus i, I would say please focus on your grades because you should not lose your money and time because of certain things you did not do bits provides ample opportunities to make up or get at least minimum grades so that you don't need to pay the amount again or repeat any semester but it's up to you if you really don't do anything you might have some consequences by the way i will explain it in another video so if you like this video please share and subscribe uh, to the channel share the video like the video and let me know if you want me to make more videos about any other subjects so thanks a lot to hear me and see you in the next video